Happy Tuesday, everybody. How we doing? How are we all doing on this wonderful Tuesday where YouTube didn't at all mess up my stream keys and nuke Thursday's stream, notifying everybody that the cocktail stream was going live? Nope. Didn't happen at all. Nothing of the sort. That would never happen. YouTube would never, would never duplicate a stream key for two unique streams. And then go, oops, when I hit the go, that would never happen. That would never happen. Nope. Nope. Uh, yeah. Um, unrelated. Unrelated. If you did go, if you did go and click notify me when the stream goes live for Thursday's cocktail stream, you might want to go and do that again because it might be a different link now. Might be a different link now. Yep. Yep. That's how we're kicking off the stream today. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I, oh, I'm learning some things. I'm learning some things about how YouTube does stuff. Uh, and I'm also very confused. I have no idea. I have no idea why duplicate stream keys happen. They do happen a lot. And if you don't catch them, Stuff like that happens, but yeah, we're here. We're he we're here to we're here today to unbutton one button further on a button-up shirt and become one to find our inner Clive. I am finally going to go and experience the Final Fantasy 16 crossover event uh, uh, event in Final Fantasy 14, and that's what we're gonna do today. So, how are we all doing? How are we all feeling? Are we all feeling breezy. We all feeling chesty today? Is that what's going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and yes, and to get the bestest boy mount and all that stuff. I, I'm i going in pretty damn blind today. Other than looking up where I start the quest, I, I don't know. I, 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 I think I also need to worry about MGP for some of this stuff, which is a concern. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, but we're we're gonna go do the uh, we're gonna go do the solo duty. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We're all talking about killing our younger siblings in game. Wait, why? Why? What happened? Why? Why? Why murder? Why do we? Why do we want to murder today? MGP is for the music. Oh, thank God. All right. Okay. Whew. Whew. All right. <laughs> okay. I do like the music though, so I should probably, I should probably grind some uh, some some gold saucer. In my, in my meantime, why not murder? Well, I mean, it's illegal for one. For one, I'm mean, in the virtual game. Maybe not so much. There's, there is a lot of murder in in Final Fantasy XIV. A lot of murder. I'm not as concerned about the card. I'm not super. Con That's more of Kyle's thing. Which, uh, honestly, let him rest. Don't 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 give that man FOMO right now. Don't don't give him FOMO. Although he also he. He tends to get up to the gold saucer of his own volition, so who knows? He might be sitting on a, a butt ton of MGP. I have, I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no clue. Um, Ruby Anchor, thank you for the generous super kicking off the stream. Um, I'm, I'm glad to see that there's a 100% chance of cleavage in today's forecast. I'm very glad about that. I'm very glad. Yeah, cleavage. We're here for the cleavage, everybody. We're here for it. We are here for it. Uh, Spellbound Tutor, thanks for the super. Yesterday was Eclipse Totality. Today is E Cleavage Totality. It is written. Yeah, yeah Flor Florida kind of, nothing really special in terms of our view of the Eclipse. But yeah, if you watch the stream, you can see Marco's get, if you watch yesterday's podcast room, you can see Marco's room get horribly dark when the, when the Eclipse went by. Yeah. Oops, all Cleavage. Yeah, that's exact. that, that, ooh. I should have made that. The stream title today. That would have been a good one. That would have been a good one. Weather forecast looks... looks wet. <laughs> Thank you, Casual Cory. Thank you. Um, Kidda Phoenix. Thank you for the super. Have you and Kyle considered doing the extremes as you progress the story? Finish 6.1 MSQ. Do 6.1 extremes? Um, No. No, we haven't. Uh, because... Then we would trial like back to back because we essentially do go from doing the trial to do the extreme trial. We like to do the extremes when we're when we're uh, excited about them. Um, 
I could, I mean, I, I, I get, I get where you're coming from with that, but it, I, my gut reaction is like, give it a little bit of time to breathe. Um, I'm sure I could go back in time and find a place where I'm being inconsistent with that. Cause I'm, I'm trying to think, I feel like we finished 5.0 and then immediately jumped into the Hades extreme. But that was a special case because we had so many videos we wanted to make around topics regarding the Shadowbringers finale um, that we had what we consider like open weeks that aren't like we got to hit X amount of MSQ stuff to kind of hit dates that we're hoping to hit. We Y'all did Ruby and Ruby Extreme the same night. That was a special case. That was a special case where we got through the story content pretty damn fast and chat was like, we're pretty sure you can knock it out in the same sitting. And you were right. We did get through it pre relatively quickly. Relatively quickly. I don't think we did that for Emerald or Diamond, though. Um, definitely not Diamond. Diamond kicked our ass. Um, but yeah. But also, I don't think that's what Phoenix here is is suggesting. I don't think Phoenix is suggesting, hey, when you get when you, once you're done with the trial in 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 the same stream, of because I think there's some trials that are mixed into the MSQ. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's what they're suggesting, but, but yeah, no, it hasn't really been something we considered. No. Um, and we've also, we've heard some things about, uh, the end singer, multiple people that I trust have told us end singer extreme would probably not be a single stream. And I would be concerned that future trials would be that way as well. So we wouldn't want to essentially have to prog an extreme and, and delay uh, cadence of MSQ streams that we're happy with because of that. I think that's that would be my that would be my concern if I were to talk openly about it. But no, straight up, no, we haven't considered. It. I haven't talked to Kyle about this, so I don't know. Maybe, never say never, never say never. I personally, as you can tell, have a few hangups, but yeah, yeah, you know, it's how it goes. It's how it goes. I mean, who doesn't want Jill's outfit, cannon fodder? Uh, it's a good. It's a, it's a rocking. It's a rockin' piece of, uh, of cosplay. And Singer Extreme is an actual ball buster of a trial. That, that's what I've heard. I've heard it's... Most, most people I've talked to said they think it would take us more than one night. Probably not more than two, but, but more than one night. Uh, thoughts on... I've, th thoughts on any Savage? I, I would like to, really, yeah. It's just, um, with our streaming schedule, it's just a matter of, of finding... Finding space for it. Um, I, I just... I just want to... I just want to get in there. Um, if there was, like, yeah, I don't know. I've, I'm, <clears throat> uh, I want to say itchy. That's the wrong word. Eager. I am eager to continue playing uh, through the the patch content of of N Walker. I'm I'm pretty excited. So, uh, what I don't want to be is uh, misunderstood and, and feel like I'm impatient waiting for Kyle. I'm I'm, I'm happy. I'm I'm happy I can help that man uh, take take some time, um, but don't uh, but but do not misunderstand. Holy shit! I want to keep playing. <laughs> I really want to move forward. Um, so yeah, this uh, this two weeks is. Oh, I just oh, I just want to go. I just oh I just want to go so bad. I just I really want to go. I really want to do it. Um, but I'm also excited to to try some different stuff. I'm I'm super excited for Thursday's cocktail stream. Katie and I ordered some really weird ingredients uh, that some of the drinks in the Final Fantasy XIV cookbook call for that we couldn't find them anywhere. I, we ended up having to Amazon some shit. Like, um, I guess dried lavender isn't that weird, but we couldn't find it easily. Um, and then there were some other things, some dried fruit products that were really difficult to find. Um, so that will be coming in the mail today. Day, hopefully tomorrow at the latest because we have to pre-make some tea we have to pre-make some tea for one of the drinks that we really want to make out of the out of the cocktail book well it's a cooking book it's not a cocktail book there's actually not that many cocktails um but yeah yeah there's a couple things we got to pre-make that are a little time intensive like anything that requires simmering it for like half an hour on the stove um so yeah cocktail with tea yes there is a there's a a Domen tea, I believe, in there with alcoholic variations. Um, and it wouldn't be the first time I've had a cocktail with tea in it. There is a 
What the hell is it called? There's a... I'm going to fire up my... There's a highball I really like that involves, I believe, black tea. But I can't... Oh, shit. Uh, um, can I search by ingredient on this thing? Tea, maybe? Kotodama. The Kotodama. Just from a bar called Cindy's in Chicago, I believe. My friends... Uh, Reverse engineered this, but it's a, it's a Japanese whiskey highball, but it has two ounces of black tea in it, in addition to tawny port, lemon juice, demerara syrup, uh, and a couple uh, drops of absinthe with some muddled ginger. This thing is delicious. It is an utterly delicious cocktail. Um, and there's plenty of other cocktails that, in, that involve tea. Um, but um, the Kotodama is, ooh, ooh, it's delicious. It absolutely delicious, and you don't need to break the bank. You can really make that with um, any any garden variety Japanese whiskey. I think we just used uh, st- your standard Suntory, um, but it's ooh ooh, it's tasty. Yeah, no, you can totally uh, you can totally work some tea into some cocktails. It's actually the only way I really like. Tea. I'm not a tea guy. I'm not a huge fan, unless I have a just raging sore throat. But uh, but yeah, yeah, you can do that. Um. So, just uh, herbal tea and absinthe is delightful. I've never tried that. I could see that working, though. Because ab- absinthe is just, like, super concentrated anise flavor if you've never had it. Um, and I could see that absolutely working in a tea. You love anything Earl Grey, and that's why it made its way into your Warrior of Light's name? Well, that's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. Time to join the cleavage sounds wrong out of context. That's streaming. That's how we do around these parts. That's how we do around these parts. And I mean, after a recent podcast recording, I apparently need to go back and new game plus the Dark Knight quest to realize all of the innuendo that's in there. Because <laughs> I played that stuff alone and I didn't notice. I did not notice at all. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to this day. Um, what I have played of 16, I've really enjoyed. If it wasn't for wanting to experience it with Kyle, I probably would have beaten it already of my own volition by my, by my lonesome. But we experienced a decent chunk of it together, and I'd like to continue that experience at some point. Ugh. Forgot about the Dark Knight quest until Amanda brought it up. Yeah. Yeah, nah, God, Amanda. Amanda was uh, made me laugh a lot. <laughs> Caught me off guard with those those Dark Knight uh, observations. Innuendo sounds like fourteen in general. Yes, yes, that uh, certainly seems to be the case at times, uh, especially if you're enjoying some uh, some localization. Blame Koji. Yes, we should all blame Koji. Let, let, but, but we know that there's more than just Koji at this point, especially like uh, in the later expansions. So really just blame the whole team. Anyone working in localization of Final Fantasy XIV, you know what you you know what you did. And we hope that you feel proud about it. It's taken out in the English version. For example, uh, example Harshafant is down bad in French and Japanese. I have heard that. I have heard that Harshafant is... Um, a little overly flirty. Um, although I, I hear that that's still the case uh, if you play a, uh, a female warrior of light. If you play a lady, um, I hear even in the localized version as it exists, um, comes off a little more flirty. I've heard from some of my friends. Uh, Oni Perfection said, uh, Dark Knight D jokes in my MMO. Right? Right, and I think we're about to come across another Ifrit in my MMO, plunging necklines in my MMO, fantastic haircuts and five o'clock shadows in my MMO. We could keep going. What else? Um, best doggos in my MMO. I'm pretty sure it just uh, focuses on Clive, so I don't think this gets into the other, the other primals. So that would be cool. I love 16's version of Garuda. That boss fight is killer. Absolutely killer. Highly recommended if you haven't done it. Highly recommended. Uh, bestest of doggos? Yep. 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 
course, you like plunging that. What? What do you? What do you mean? What do you? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about at all. <sighs> Listen, I got I got nothing to show off. It's just hot. It is always hot in Florida, so that's why my button downs always look the way they look when I decide to wear one on stream. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't trying to elicit nothing in any of you. <laughs> what do I think will happen in the crossover event? You want me to cook? That's bait, and I will happily oblige. Um, I mean, I've seen the trailer, so it sure seems like I'm heading into a solo duty where I'm going to fight. It's, it, honestly, it seems like the solo duty is just going to hit me with the, you know, the, the pr press in joysticks to accept the truth moment. It seems like it's going to be a solo duty version of that, probably with some crossover confusion about what is, like, how this is functioning within the world of Final Fantasy XIV, a world that already has its own ifrit. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be some, some cute writing about making sense of that. So, yeah. Um, and also like, it makes sense. We're starting out here in old Dob where we, we had to contend with Ifrit. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of where my head's at. I figured it's kind of, you know, be a little. A little fan servicey in the best way possible, but also tied into the world because that's what they do here in Final Fantasy XIV. They don't, you know, it might it might be a little uh, a little funny, but they 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 go out of their way to actually make it make sense within the world. So, yeah, I don't know. I also just recently did the fifteen event because that came back and it was very isekai. So I'm assuming similar vibes. Yeah, yeah. Good you didn't miss it. No, no. I figured I'd give some. I'd I'd, I'd let the you know how this goes. We, we go live. I catch up with the stream. Give people time to file in. Especially when there's a issue with the stream key. And people may have gone to the wrong stream. But, yeah. Uh, Crimson, Shinigami, uh, you tried making a daiquiri for the first time today? How did it go? Did you enjoy it? Did, was it tasty? I, I, I was about to lie to you and say I remember the first time I made a daiquiri. I don't. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> I've made many a daiquiri and I don't remember when I made my first one um, but uh, they're delightful cocktails uh, and there's a, a butt ton of variations out there if you get bored and you want but you want to stay in that wheelhouse but try something new oh yeah there's a lot of daiquiris I think in the very first Death & Co it, yeah, in the very first Death & Co book there's an entire section I think it's a few pages with multiple specs per page about how each bartender that was currently working at Death & Co. when they printed that book, how they each make their daiquiri. And they're, they're all a little different. Most of them, I feel, is just ratio differences, but a few of them call for very specific rums, very specific syrups. Um, and that's how I found uh, the Joaquin daiquiri, which is probably my favorite daiquiri. That's in the first Death & Co. book. Freaking delicious. Um, and that is a preview of what you'll see Thursday night. But it'll be in our kitchen. I'm going to try and sound dead in it a little bit. Hopefully it'll, you know, I we won't have mics like this, but have a good time. It's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to that. Little Shush, thanks for re-upping your membership. Appreciate it. <sighs> you just hate crap against the front of your neck. I feel the brights. Like, it's, yeah, yeah, why, why? Like, yeah, you're all buttoned up. Like, if, if I'm going to do this... If I'm gonna if I'm gonna be buttoned up all the way up, that's when I'm like, might as well go three piece. Like I might as well have a vest and a jacket and a tie because I'm already I already feel so buttoned up. I might as well go for layers. So yeah, yeah. I, it's been not since the uh, the the advent of pop punk bands that look like they work at Applebee's have uh, uh, in the early 2000s. That's the last time I wore just a tie with a button down. I, I ain't about that life anymore. I ain't about that life. Or I guess the primals do that too. <laughs> now that I think about it, they just wear black button downs with white ties, which might be another reason why I like them so much. Cause they make me think of bands I listened to in high school, but yeah. <sighs> well, shall we get moving? Shall we see what this crossover event has in store for me? But <laughs> perfectly timed cheer in, in game. 
Um, I was going to say, uh, judging by the look of many of you, uh, this will not come as a surprise. A lot of you look like you know exactly what lies ahead of us. So, let's uh, let's get started here with a land on fire. Let's explain chokers. I've 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 never worn a choker, so I can't I can't help you. I can't help you. I think uh, I think Kyle or Kristen could probably help. I think they both have worn chokers at some point in their life. So um, you'll, uh, you'll have to wait. You'll have to you know be patient for your grinding gear choker content. That's that's what's going to have to happen. That's what's going to have to happen. So, all right. Seeks the Warrior of Light. Quest is available for limited item only. Well, I'm, I'm here, aren't I? Look at that lovely, that lovely spot illustration of Clive. You handsome bastard. All right. F forgive me my boldness, but are, but you are Tuna No Crust, are you not? <laughs> what happens if I say no? What happens if I say no? My apologies. Even if you are the spinning image, I, I, I suppose it was naive of me to presume you are indeed the living legend of itself. I shall have to keep searching. <laughs> I just noped you out of the quest! <laughs> Why even give me the option? Other than to make me laugh. Once. Like, but... It's cute. It's cute. All right, I, all right, you got me, you got me. If you say no, and then you come back and you say yes, there should be a unique line where the neophyte adventurer calls you rude. That's, that would be, that would be a lovely little, lovely little uh, effect. But then my search is at an end. I, a begoggled gentleman tasked me to find you, you see, in hopes of entreating your aid with some matter of, he deigned not to share with me. Pray remain here, and I shall fetch him at once. The first cutscene begins. Greetings, champions, says a mysterious voice that I don't know how to characterize yet. Oh! The wandering... I should have picked that up from the goggles. "'Tis I, who employed the young adventurer to facilitate this impromptu audience. "'As for the why, I have a request that you, and you alone, can fulfill. "'Pray listen well, for my tale begins with a most unsettling dream. "'In it did I behold the evening sky, boundless and shimmering, as I drank deep of its beauty.' I spied two stars sailing across the inky expanse, one of the purest white, the other blushing scarlet, their courses set such that they might pass without collision. Sharply and suddenly, the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. High above the burning, uh, burning landscape did its path intersect with that of the white star their conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber, I was awestruck by the spectacle. <laughs> that second one, that second option is so rude. Why would you? No. No, I'm, I refuse. I'm not going to be that rude. To my good, it gives me extremes to do, buddy. Truth be told, my own interpretation wavers. My rationale, or... <clears throat> My rational mind says meaningless dream, whilst my artist's soul insists on prophecy. Whatever greater meaning this vision might hold, I am convinced that the blazing white star represents the warrior of light. In other words, you. And should these portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the scarlet star whomsoever they may be. I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land for my dream, that I might witness the vision's denouement. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. The 
question is, which territory in Eorzea might be considered burning, metaphorically or otherwise? <laughs> I mean, these aren't all wrong, but I know where we're going. I know what we're doing. I know where this is going. While its revelation to flame cannot be denied, mine instincts tell me nay. The scene from my dream was more ridge than a bowl. A giant, flickering outcrop of... Crystal mayhap? Of course! All right, so I was wrong. <laughs> These crystals would have to be immense in size, akin to... to those which comprise the burning wall. Aye, that sight well resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. The first mystery is solved. We shall leave for Eastern Thanalan and the infamous burning wall at once. And off we go. Oh, hey, they worked in the logo. How adorable. I shouldn't be surprised. I shouldn't be too surprised by that. All right, we're heading off to the burning wall. To Camp Drybone! Let's get boned. Since it's in, thanks for the super. I'm glad that you're, uh, uh, thank you for wishing me happy cleavaging. Much appreciated. I, I, I pity the fool who engages in sad cleavaging. All right. We're heading out. Doing the thing. Doing the stuff. Is there is there sky access? Appears there is. Yes. Lovely. Lovely. Here we go. So nice to just be able to fly again. The the uh the desire to go and uh get all my ether currents while Kyle is away um is surprisingly strong. Surprisingly. But I will st I will stay strong. I will wait for my butt. Even though he has gotten many ether currents without me, I will wait for him. I will wait for Kyle. I will do it. <laughs> yeah, limiting zero, right? Right? I, I can't believe it. I cannot believe that Yoshi P got the director of Final Fantasy 16 to agree to this. It's truly a, a stunning accomplishment. I don't know how he pulled it off. I really don't. I really don't know how he did it. It definitely didn't simply involve a mirror. That's not at all. That's not at all how it went down. Yep. Yep. You could then be Kyle's chauffeur. That is fair. I do have my car and a couple other, a couple other multi-seaters. All right. I'm wondering, Mr. Lee, look at y'all. Y'all are just a bunch of handsome folk here. The Burning Wall. An apt name indeed. "'Tis said that these crystalline structures were formed when falling shards of Dalamud pierced the land's ethereal current. Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation <clears throat> of renewed life. But that is neither here nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spyglasses at the ready. Well, I guess I will destinate. Or cutscene. Oh, we're jabberwockying. Look at that. Look at us. It's what we're doing. All right. Are there any Easter eggs? Why is that text so big? No. You didn't find any? Oh, let's see. Well, I for anything out of place. Out of place. Oh, 
What's out of place? <laughs> I actually don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be staring at. What looks out of place? Wait, what, did something just... Nope. 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 Oh, wait. What was that? Something just came up. Oh! Oh, it's Clive! That's not a strange man! That's my buddy Clive! He's just sitting there. Poke him with a stick. <sighs> I found a dead body. Hair, headphones, hate it. going on you have to voice Clive like Ben all right we're gonna take we're gonna take a second because I need to I need to remind myself what uh, what Clive sounds like. Clive, Final Fantasy 16. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I need I need a uh I need I need a video that has just some like non-spoiler Clive lines. That's what I need. It's actually harder to find than you'd think. <laughs> it's just a bunch of... Uh, the first thing I find is just a bunch of other characters yelling Clive. None of them are Clive talking. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you know, I know these Grinding Gear guys uh, played Final Fantasy 16. So, um, you know. Here we go. Here we go. Garrett reacts to his own damn stream. That's what. That's where this is going. Because we're going to find an early, early scene of Clive. So that nobody can claim uh, claim spoilers. Oh, look at, look at how, look at how short my hair is. Miss you, Kyle. Miss you, buddy. I really seem to there my only arm where is what where when I is need. when is Clive gonna talk? Just went to a video of Ben Starr doing Mario. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna click on this and hopefully it doesn't explode. Yep, go to site. Boy Toralf. Good Here we boy. Go. Good boy, Toralf. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Toralf. Good boy. Good boy. It's it's kind of back in the throat. A little deeper. A little more sultry. Not unlike how I read Estinian, which I don't get to do, because that's usually Kyle. So that's what we'll go with. I think we can move on. Oh, crap. What did it say? Strange man said a dream led you to me. I understand how absurd that may sound. We ourselves were unsure of what awaited us here. As for who we are, I am content to be known as the Minstrel. The stalwart hero here is Tuna. 
Might we have the pleasure of your name? Clive. I... The last thing I remember was the ruins. Man, his model looks fantastic. <sighs> My head. Where? How did I come to be in this place? It would seem you are not senseless. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make for town and have a prontistory physician look over look you over. Yep, that's a word I know how to say. I shall see our patient receives proper treatment. Would you mind waiting for us at Scholar's Walk? <laughs> Should do a podcast with the grinding gear, guys. Yeah, I'll see if I can make that happen. I'll see if I can make that happen. <laughs> I haven't seen this video, Zenchi. That's a thing he did. That sounds fantastic. Barbie ticket. I definitely, uh, I definitely remember his video of him uh, auditioning for the part of Mario, which I still, I think, is a shame he hasn't been tapped as the new voice of Mario. You know, just based on that performance alone. Uh, I hope I did you. I hope I did you proud, Meeps. I hope it did you proud. All right. Destinating. Let's do it. Our foundling is being cared for as we speak, but I'm told he should be released soon. Hopefully, it was not that a bite of food and a little bed rest couldn't cure. I'm gonna look so good in that glam. It was kind of you to wait. Thank you. What of your condition? Much improved. The Physica... Physica? <laughs> also noted no signs of injury or illness. Yet my memories remain hazy. How did I end up there? Whatever I was doing... It was important, I'm sure of it. I must return as soon as possible. I see. We cannot leave him in this state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. What of the city, Clive? Do any parts of Uldar strike you as familiar? No. Maybe I've simply forgotten, but I recognize nothing. Hmm. Not all done, then. Still, I should like to think that the sights and sounds of a well-known locale may hasten your recovery. The Burning Wall, the place where we found you, is situated midway betwixt Uldan and Gridania. Perhaps a trip to the Twelveswood is in order. Redania, you say. The name rings no bells, but I have no better suggestions. And you would take me there? Meanwhile, I shall make the rounds of the neighboring settlements and ask if any have heard of you. Let us rendezvous in Gridania now. Clive's V-neck is too shallow. <laughs> you get it right in the, in the chat. <laughs> I mean, you know, pardon Clive while I, uh, you know, look at you like a meat popsicle. 
it's it's pretty accurate. They, they need to pop the highlights on the pecs a little more. I think is what needs to happen on the on the upper end. You know, it's a little little muted, a little muted. This entire situation has knocked me off balance. I'm afraid. Tuna, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own business to attend to. We can set out whenever you're ready. Pain to recall. Huh? Are we ready? Then let's head out. This Gradania, the minstrel mentioned, is it far? But we need mounts. Oh, is it Torgal time? By airship? You have those? Not that I mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. No wonder Kyle likes 16 so much. The lack of airships. Because as we all know, Kyle is not a fan of airships. Not a fan at all. <laughs> yeah, wait till he sees cars. Tuna. If I may ask a foolish question, do these airships of yours actually fly? A foolish question indeed, then. Your expression tells me as much. So it would seem. It's odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword. I understand what it's for and how to wield it. Foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. Yet, hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt confusion, disbelief, or something that you clearly think of as commonplace. I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, but dwelling on this is pointless. Forward is the only way. And they flew. I know 15 is the road trip Final Fantasy, but can we just, like, have an airship road trip with Clive? Can that be the whole quest? I just... I just want to bro out with Clive. To feel that bracing wind, the deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory may be faulty, but that was an experience i sure I'd not soon forget. So, this is Gridania. Seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? Uh, I think it best if I follow your lead. Clive is now accompanying you. Hell yeah. Just two dudes with awesome haircuts hanging out. Yeah. How you doing, Clive, old buddy? This tavern. It reminds me of somewhere I've been before. No, it's no use. I can feel the memory, but it's like grasping at smoke. But maybe if you were to show me somewhere else. Hmm. 
Sorry, Clavin, I just wanna I just wanna go on the veranda and see in this lovely warm lighting. Get in the Clive. Get in the light, Clive. Get in the clot light. Get in the Clive light. Get in the light, Clive. I can't wait for the graphics update. Clive looks so sick. God, look at the hair. Look at that hair. I, I mean, I guess mine isn't isn't that bad, but damn, that's impressive. Damn, that's impressive. Yeah. Right. What you got, bud? A chocobo. Now that's something I recognize. Yes. Uh, yet it's more than that. I had my own chocobo once. I'm sure of it. But as for the when or the where... He's so cute. He's excited about things that we see every day. Is he going to talk about the Moogle? Is he going to talk about the Moogle? Is that what he's going to talk about? Oh, no, it's going to be a Mother Crystal reference. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, that makes sense. An impressive crystal. Not a Mother Crystal, surely. No. Not nearly large enough. Ugh. When I try to remember, the fog in my head almost seems to grow thicker. Don't show him Heidelin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Clive's going to eco terrorism Heidelin. <laughs> Oh my god. No, Clive, that's our bus. <laughs> and Clive, this thing, you don't want to blow it up because this is how we get places. This is our Uber. Clive just in the corner sweating like, I must blow up that crystal. I must. I need to destroy it. <laughs> just imagine, just like the SpongeBob, like the, I don't need it. I, I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. But it's Clive in the corner staring at Eddie the Wrights. Just, just like shaking. Unable to just stop himself from thinking about how badly he just wants to blow it up. Oh, goodness gracious me. Uh, where are we heading? Oh, there's another conversation pit over here. Run like the wind, Clyde. Oh, look at you. You got the same goofy run animation I do. Oh, cutscene. This is truly a beautiful place. Eh, be kind. Not so much pressure. I do like what I've seen of it. Seems a peaceful life here amongst the trees. Only... I just can't shake the strangest feeling. As if it's too peaceful. And that doesn't sit right. Patrol reporting, Commander. All is quiet with the Ixel. No sightings of Garuda. For which we are profoundly grateful. At ease, soldier. Oh no, he, named, he mentioned Garuda. Did he say... Garuda? Here we go. You there. This Garuda you speak of. 
<sighs> Sir, are you all right? Tuna, do you know this gentleman? His name's Clive. He's really high, de high def. <laughs> Memory loss, you say? I'm sorry to hear that. Though it seems Garuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. I was in a battle with Garuda. I fought her, I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Of course, Gridania owes her debt of gratitude to any who stood against that destructive fiend. However, there is one more suited to the task than I. Our elder Seatseer is well versed not only in primal lore, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She is surely your best hope for recovery. I will send word ahead of two still glade fane. Stand ready to escort our guests to an audience. Understood, Commander! Pray find me at Nafaka's altar in Old Gridania, and I will see that you are granted entry to the Lotus Stand. All right. I can just right-click on him whenever I want. Okay. The Lotus Stand lies just ahead. If you would follow me, please. Greetings, honored guests. Commander Hulo has apprised you, uh, me of your friend's condition. This is he. A pleasure to meet you. I am Connie Setta, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania. I thank you for your gracious welcome. I am Clive, though... Beyond that, I fear my introduction may be lacking. Please, concern yourself not with proprieties. Tis your memory loss we are here to address. I am told Garuda's name awakens some previous recollection. Yes, in the instant I heard it, a hazy vision of battle rose unbidden. I think perhaps if I could hear more of Garuda... A wish easily granted. Garuda is the deity revered by the Ixel, a people who once dwelled here in the Twelves Wood. Wow. She appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however is her capricious temper, as predictable as a howling storm. I should add that Tuna once fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation. And I thought I was going to do it again, but then other things happened. A winged woman of volatile temperament, with power over the wind. A fitting description of the opponent I remember. But a deity. No. The will behind the monstrous visage was distinctly mortal. I suspect Clive's Garuda and Eorzea's Primal are not one and the same.
mainly as Clive himself is not of our world. Explain yourself, minstrel. I went back to where we discovered Clive and questioned folk in all the nearby settlements. Not one person recognized his description. Such a distinctive tattoo escaping the notice of every local rumor monger for moms around? Improbable, to say the least. That led me to consider another possibility. One consistent with past accounts I have heard of visitors from other worlds stumbling up through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. My brand, it's... It's the mark of a bearer. Does it pain you to remember? I feel the memories trying to resurface, but when I strain to recall, a piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda. Bearer. Ifrit. Another primal's name. It would seem the pain has a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Victims of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth the mind creating a shield of pain to protect the heart. The barrier is of my own making. How then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversity. Damn, his eyes are so much higher def than everyone else's. You get lost in those pixels. Petition to change Tuna's name to Clive at home. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad about it. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad about it. Oh, damn. Oh, it's, uh, this makes me want to get back to 16. This makes me want to get back to 16. Oh, Clive, don't be so sad. Alrighty. So you think me from another world. And my memories of said world are not uh, like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. A truth my mind refuses to remember. You gotta accept the truth, man. Tis a confounding dilemma, I agree. And I have given the thought to... Uh, I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle. A drastic measure, perhaps especially when not at your best. Which is why I turn to you, Tuna. You are the twin to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no accident. The path, I see, is thick with thorns. But if you've the will to walk it, then gird yourself for war and await me at Apkalu Falls. All right, get your joysticks ready. Get your thumbsticks ready. Yeah, of course, everything in 14 can be solved with battle. Why not? The path infernal. Clive seems somewhat amused. Oh, we get something. We get something. The minstrel has a plan, it seems. 
but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. Still, I'm willing to indulge him, if it means making progress. We're to meet him at uh, Apkalu Falls, right? And where is that to be found? Good. Not far, then. Let's get on with it. Yes! It's not far. It just doesn't have its own damn ether, ether point. Man, as a summoner, you just absolutely learned to hate Apkalu Falls. Because it's, it's like the most inconvenient point in all of Gudania. <laughs> Glad to see no one disagreeing. Yeah, I had a uh, definitely got getting some summon. I get summoner PTSD every time I come over here. Although, Yumitra is super rad. Can't be mad about Yumitra, but I can be mad about the journey every time. This place. Why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Louis Soi gathered a band of adventurers in the time of the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Their purpose? To extinguish the infernal, infernal Ifrit. Ifrit! Love the snap zoom. Ugh. I know something is there, I just... Why can't I remember? Clive recalled several words in the Elder Seed Seer's presence, words which brought him pain. While the significance of Barrow eludes me, you and I are more than familiar with Ifrit. The music is ripping. Considering your reaction to the mere mention of the name, it is likely that the primal, or its equivalent in your world, is deeply connected to your condition. Thus have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the effort of our world. Here, where Archon Louis Soi paved an ethereal path to the Primal's lair, will my words be given substance, and within the vision which takes form will you do battle with a phantom of our mind's creation. Imaginary though this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real. Yet you must persevere, for your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star, and call upon the strength of your shining twin. Your past awaits. Referring to him as Scarlet Star is fantastic. What, what a, what a freaking moniker. All right. I guess this is it. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Will Garrett get it on the first try? Judge me, ye of little faith. Or maybe of a lot of faith. The poll will, will let us know. The poll will let us know. All right. All righty then. Here we go. Where has he sent us? 
You stand in the Bowl of Embers, the site where the Elmaja summon their patron deity, and the stage upon which the Warrior of Light became a slayer of gods. And where Garrett started paying attention to the story. Tis but convincing illusion, the body of recounted tale given breadth by fanciful verse. Come forth, Lord of the Inferno. Yeah, hey, it's yesterday. What's up, basic Frit? Yeah, 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 I've seen it before. An accurate facsimile, yet not quite the Ifrit you know. No, not quite the same. Oh, we're just going straight to it? It's not like a phase change or something? That looks great. I mean, I saw the trailer, so I knew they were pulling it off, but see it in, seeing it in game. That is rocking. I mean, I would really like a third option that says, uh, press Ellen, Ellen R. All right. Time to find out who I am. Ifrit. That's the thing which killed Joshua. Yes, I've been on his trail, seeking vengeance for my brother. This fiend must pay. Fight with me, Tuna. This is dope. This is great. Oh, special duty actions. Okay. Rising flame. Oh, shit. You get abilities from the game. Charge the phone and inflict high damage. Proper timing and use dodge to avoid taking damage, even if you are within the area of an enemy's attack. What the hell is this? Certain enemy attacks will be preceded by a countdown icon. When this countdown progresses to the dodge icon, quickly use the dodge out. Okay, so it's like a two, one, dodge. <laughs> they found a way to add, add quick time events. Dodge action will change the precision strike, which provides an... Okay, all right, cool. See dodge, press dodge. All right. <laughs> Time to, time to do my best button clicking. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, can I, hold up. Can, oh, I can't move that, can I? Oh, duty, there we go. Let's, uh, let's bring this in a little closer. Save. There we go. The frickin' music. God, this looks, this looks great. Hold on, I'm just gonna go over to my buddy here. 
Look at these handsome devils. Look, look, look up, Clive. Clive, look up. It's up there, Clive. It's up. It's up there, Clive. No plunge at 50. Ah. Ah, I want my money back. You messed up shortcuts and died. Well, we'll see what happens. All right. Well, I've got Rising Flame, so let's do it. That just seems to be unavoidable AoE. Oh, dodge. <laughs> you know the thing? Where's the countdown? Oh, there it is. Ah, very cool. That is satisfying. It'd be more satisfying if I took the time to bind it to a key, but, um... Make sure I'm not backing myself into the flames when I do it. Oh, okay, you're cute. I see you being cute. Just use it now. Okay, so you can you can kind of use it whenever you want. Woo! Oh wait, let's use rising flame to get back in there. Yeah, I should use rising flame more. It's so cool. They did a good job with this. gonna be cute. Oh, it's also gonna hurt. Uh, what you doing there, bud? You should be safe here. Damn, those graphics. As usual, bang up effects work. Shit, I can't move. Can I, can I help you? I use some time. Oh, defend Clive. What? Oh, that's fantastic. Get my Susano on. I would not mind uh, Precision Dodge to become a normal mechanic that just exists in 14, because this, this feels great. Yeah. Dodging is a thing.
effects work is fantastic. Another active time maneuver. Oh, we'll get squish. Oh, no, never mind. Yep, here we go. I look so cool. Remember how cool I was. Yeah, buddy. Oh crap, too early. Oh no, I did it right, okay. All right, close enough. Close enough for science. Ooh. Any of these, yep. They are in fact targetable. Wait, what? I should probably help Clive. I'm gonna go help Clive. Can't rely on steel alone. Okay. Got time. We got time. Oh, I got it. Alright. On your guard, he means one hell. He hasn't been unleashing hell already? I don't want this fight to end. Oh, yep, gonna get signed by that. Yes, I am. It's very pretty. Oh, shit. Wow, we're just going for it. Okay. Myself the guilt. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. But I accept the truth of it now. You are not Ifrit. I am. Ah, they're just going for it. Hell yeah. Kaiju fight, let's go. Oh, that was sick.
In the battle against your own mind, it would seem you have emerged the victor. Intriguing. Yeah! The goodest boy. <laughs> they did a good job with his fur. That was, that was freaking great. The dodging really added a nice little layer to that. The illusion is, is unraveled, yet you've brought a friend back with you. Yeah! The real star of Final Fantasy sixteen. This is Torgal, a wolf pup raised in the duchy. There is no more loyal ally in battle, and no keener guide when the road is uncertain ahead. You better animate him petting that dog. Ah, that would explain the aberration in the lingering ether. Torgal is here to lead you back to your own world. Clive has embraced his harrowing past, and in doing so, reclaimed the memories he lost. Though not a conscious act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. Don't worry, this works in the canon. Even so, it was difficult to accept what I'd done. My youngest brother, Joshua, was a kind and gifted soul. The inheritor of the Phoenix's flames. He was destined to become Archduke, as a father had before him. But Joshua was murdered. His bright future cut short. From that day onwards, I lived for one purpose. A dominant of fire had slain my brother, and I would have my revenge. I spent years tracking the killer, until one day, I came to understand it had been me all along. I was young and distraught when I first summoned Ifrit. I hadn't known such power lurked within me, or that it could even exist at all. The transformation was instinctive, uncontrolled, and it was by my hand that Joshua died. I can but imagine the anguish this caused you. That was anguish, yes and a guilt I will never escape. But I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel for Ifrit's power, and I need to know why. It was in search of answers that I went to Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth. And then everything faded to black. Hmm. Your tale suggests that something in the ruins, some mysterious force, was responsible for your inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Eorzea from a place sacred to the phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Yes? What are you thinking? I'm thinking that to see you home, then we must return to the beginning. Our roads take us back to the Burning Wall. 
Once there, your furry comrade will lead us exactly where we need to go. Morph. You know, a thought occurred to me. And I, I really messed up. But I can make amends by dressing up correctly to see Clive off. You know, there's only one set I should have been wearing for this entire bit. I really messed up. Zero out of three fish ending. Start from a realm reborn. This was the first glam I ever freaking made. And I really should have been rocking it for this event. <laughs> Didn't think about it. Didn't cross my mind. <laughs> Uninstall. <laughs> the least I can do is see Clive off in fashion. Ugh. Thanks for the supers, everybody. Dark man, I did. I did, in fact, accept the truth. Um, I always appreciate a dodgeball reference, Dino. Even though I did not always successfully dodge. Uh, Gabgano said, "Important question: Can Clive see the AOE markers? That would bring certain things into question if he could, and it sure, see, sure seems like he could." So, am I saying here and now that Clive canonically has the echo? Just saying. KLG, thanks for the 20 months. <laughs> I am enjoying the cleavage. The cleavage, the cleavage has been great. The cleavage has been phenomenal. It's been some top-notch cleavage. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know how, how true that is, uh, Mech and Maya, because I ran Mother Crystal with a, a, a duty support, and uh, most of those scions just get smacked by everything in existence. So I don't know how true that is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Rudolph, uh, I appreciate the generosity, but uh, I wouldn't say that you need to do that with anybody. Um, we, we can simply just request a return uh, of the man himself. Uh, maybe we should wait, though, for him to return. Is he already back? I don't want to bother him that close to returning from the States. He didn't seem like it was a quite a long trip for him, but, uh, uh, I have nothing to announce, but I can see we will, we will be inviting. We will be inviting Mike back on. Uh, Linko, thanks for the super. At least you can do a screenshot with him. Just the, <laughs> that is fair. That, that is, that is fair. Look at us. Look at us with our exposed chest pieces. Yeah. Just gonna grab that real fast. Uh, nope, 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 nope. There it is. I like never G pose. I don't know how it works. I really don't know how to G pose. So anyone who G poses. Uh, how do I, uh, how do I make it so it's just me and Clive? I don't want to look at Clive. Why are you making me do stuff? Why are you making me do stuff? Don't make me do stuff. Last tab on left. Last tab on... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Like this? No. Maybe. No. Bottom left button. Hit buttons till it works. <laughs> Sit and stand up. That that breaks the. Is it, is it, is it that simple? It's my approach. <laughs> Sit resets animations. Okay. Yeah. See, I've never. Um... Oh, here we go. Show all. Player characters. Bye. 
Sorry. Wait, who are these? Who are those people? Why are they still here? Opinion. Okay. Oh, they're friends. I had all... No, well, no, I want to show myself. What the hell is Clive? There we go. NPC including certain enemies. All right, then. All right, then. Interesting. But I want to look at Clive. Oh my god. Turn down the sun. That's a little more naturalistic. Wow, character light that's with character lighting turned down. Okay. I don't want to move. Interesting. All right, well, how do I hide this to get a lovely... Well, let's end the group pose. I'm going to look at Clive. At least face the man. Yeah, this is an important learning... Learning moment for... Wow, okay, cool. Yeah, now I'm just... <laughs> Why? <laughs> This, everybody, every, everyone, to everyone who's ever been like, you should G-pose. This is why I don't. This is why I don't. Yeah, like, why? Why is that happening? Why is that happening? <laughs> because when I, when I, this, this is, yeah, this is, uh, this is how it works for me. This is how it always goes. I am not I am I'm not trained in the ways of the force. <laughs> G posing is Yeah, there's like way way more way more options than I would like would ever want in such a thing. So, anyway, that was interesting. We've come this far. Now Torgo will be our guide. Such was the purpose of his creation, after all. Oh, the frame rate on those shadows. Ready, Torgo? Take me home. I need Zelda to park right now. Once you choose to depart, Clive and the Wandering Mitchell will accompany you. Torgal will begin leading you onwards. Follow Torgal to his destination and try not to fall behind. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, it seems like they're going to go. So, all right, everybody. This is it. This is your chance to calmly and without judgment. <laughs> I want to stand here. I want to look at Clive, and I want it to be in G-Pose. How do I make that happen? Because clicking on him and looking doesn't appear to do it. This will be a delightful clip on the Clips channel, which is Stream Teaches Garrett G-Pose. Press space. Oh, interesting. It's that simple. Okay. All right. All right. And then we did. Hide all. And we did self and NPC. Okay.
Okay, Chewie's back there. Or, oh, it's Baby Torkel. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Okay, all right. And that's the lighting situation. And we can, oh, that just turns it on and off. Okay. All right. All right, final. Interesting. So we could save that. And then, how do you hide this UI? Is it as simple as just doing, oh, it is as simple as just hiding UI. Let's see. All right, and on this day, Gpo's obsession was born. Space reorients your character to face the camera or wherever, whatever they are normally looking. Interesting. Why are you saying put camera behind Clive to click the eye icon? Oh, 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 that's creepy. <laughs> that's freaking... Oh, I see what you're saying, though. Okay, and then it kind of locks... Oh, wait. Erp. And then if you toggle it off, that's... it. Hold up. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's fun. Battle effects on and off. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, sweet. Well, I got the shot I wanted. So, I'm good with this. Thank you for your patience with my streamer brain. I don't want my, I don't want my parasol out for this. Ready, Toggle? Take me home. Borf. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Torgal leads the way. Clive should just start fighting these dudes. Put the parasol away, Tuna. Your armor doesn't rust that quickly. So quiet. Oh, I'll miss you, buddy. Is this it, boy? The tale ends where it begin, or it began, even if I could read. Where you first found me. Indeed. I was baffled as to the why of this. Of all places, would serve as a junction between our two worlds. But now I think I understand. You do. Some years ago, Eorzea was visited by a cataclysmic disaster known as the Seventh Umber Calamity. Yet even as fire and ruin threatened all we hold dear, the world underwent a mystical renewal. It was as if the star was reborn. One theory attributes the miracle to a benevolent entity claiming that the undying phoenix flared into being to save us in our hour of direst need. The phoenix. But 
The burning wall itself is a scar left by those events. Its crystal ridges having erupted from the earth overnight. Some believe these monoliths a solidified flame to be proof of the Phoenix's deliverance. The bond with your brother, the Phoenix of your world, may have been the connection which brought you to the sacred place in ours. Drawn to the flame. Orf. It seems our time together is at an end. Thank you both for all you've done. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that top one. Always, no matter what fate awaits us at journey's end. Come, Toggle. We have answers to seek, and Valestia awaits. feel the stirrings of a ballad. Manet. It would be hubris to imagine I could capture Clive's story from so fleeting an example. Oh, excerpt. That auto belongs to someone else. Someone privileged to see this tale to its conclusion. Sadly, the power to peer into other worlds was not granted to me by this day's miracles. You'll just have to buy Final Fantasy XVI and play it yourself. I wonder, however, if you might manage a tuna. Seriously, you started the game a year ago and you still haven't beaten it. What gives? In stores now. Get your coffee today. Enjoy the DLC. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking, Kara. Exactly what I was thinking. Oh my god. You're damn right, Sleepless One. We are all Clive on this day. Ah. Hello, my Torkoal Honor Guard. How are you? Our little adventure is over. Set in motion as it was by a dream most cryptic. I must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. As your promised reward, I hope this is sufficient. Torgal proved such a trustworthy guide that I thought to bind his likeness to a summoning whistle. May his loyal spirit serve you well on your travels. Until we meet again. Such a deep bow. Hi, Yoshi P. It's good to see you, buddy. Oh, yeah, they just gave you everything. All right. You can now exchange MGP for special items. Speaking to the Gold Saucer attendant at the Gold Saucer. Hell yes! I did not clean up my inventory. It needs some cleaning. We're gonna use you. We're gonna use you. We're gonna use you too. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Hold together. There we go. I mean...
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I really look like Clive at home. All right. Meet me back in Old Da, where we will form a cleavage of Clives. I want photos. <laughs> ah. Alrighty then. Oh, it's night. Of course it's night. Posing in front of steps is as good as anything else. Let's do it. Angle a little bit. Frickin' Valens. <laughs> you milk smelling bastard. How dare you? Yeah, we're gonna send this to Kyle. I'm glad Thankard is here. I'm glad Thankard could join us. Freaking fantastic. Y'all looking mighty, mighty handsome these days. I do not hate this glam. I will probably not use it for a little while because I feel like literally everyone on the earth is wearing it. Um... But in the future, this will probably, at least part of it, I love the chess piece. The chess piece is so good. It will, will probably become a mainstay for, for one of my glams. You know, you, could, you can be anyone. Why would you choose Valence? <laughs> I'm so glad you did, because it amuses me on a deep level. But... Oh, boy. <laughs> yep, yep. That's even better. There we go. Screen capping that. I've got four Clive uh, screenshots now. All right. Well, the important thing. Thank you, everybody. Sorry. Let me, uh, let me respect you all by shotgun confetti into your face. The way God intended. But, uh... I always forget where the hell you go to the inn. Oh, yeah, it's over here. Okay. Let's go find out what kind of Dark Knight glam I would make with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, 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 a Mark 1 of my Clive chess piece cosplay. No dog. Oh, I can get the dog out. I can get the dog well. Let's see. Minion guide. Where you at, Torgi? Torgo! Where you at, boy? Where is Torgo? There we go. Oh my god, look at that. He's, <laughs> He's so round! I love it. Absolutely love it. Black dyes are calling. Maybe. We'll see. Let's see. Um, where's the innkeeper? There we are. How oh, may I serve you? Well, you see, I'm assuming you can put this in the armoire, right? I've just been dumping things in here. I've just been dumping things in the armoire. If you put things in the armoire, does it show up for... Can you put things in a glam plate out of the armoire? I'm not sure I've ever actually tried that. I'm assuming you can, because wouldn't that... Yeah, that would defeat the whole purpose. Okay. So let's go ahead and stow these. If you can't stow currently equipped, why can you select equipped? Why would you even give me that option, game? <laughs> I have questions. All right, well, we're just going to stand here as God made us and drop some stuff in the armoire. Also, for my own sanity, we should probably dump 
We have have 15 stuff in here too. Wolf whistle. Boop. There we go. Sorry, everybody. Sorry for all of you folks that are thirsting over Tuna's uh, pasty, pasty body. But, uh, all right. What am I not using or I don't feel particularly married to? Ah, oh, this is a classic look. This is my Shadowbringers, like, go-to. I'm very fond of that clam plate. You. I'm not using you. I could probably... <laughs> what do you and I got going? I do like... I'm quite fond of this one for casters. Gunbreaker. Shadowbringers. Dark Knight. Classic. Dark Knight. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is my Stormblood getup. Also love this one. This one just looks great. That's my dancer glam. That's my current summoner glam. That's my plug suit. This. I don't love this one. I could get rid of this. It's a little it's a little messy for my taste. I was trying something with this. There's a reason you've never seen me rocking this. I think I wore this for Emerald Weapon and then never wore it again. Uh, yes, the, this is Thancred. Uh, that was for going to uh, Garlemald. This is my Garlemald glam. And I don't know. Oh, this is for... <laughs> I needed Tantalus gloves for uh, fashion report one day. Uh, so I think we'll... Then we'll go start with five. I think I'm going to like this glam. I think I'm going to like this glam. Quite a bit. I think I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, Zenji, thanks for the super. Clive's outfit plus Shadowbringers for Dark Knight immediately comes to mind. Uh, that, yeah, yeah, that would look good. That would definitely look good. Um, well, we'll try that. Ashley, thanks for the super. Uh, what band had a bigger cultural, oh my, you're going to hit me with something that is, I'm going to actually have to think about, aren't you, Ashley? Bigger cultural impact, Linkin Park and Nickelback. Uh, note widespread hate, mockery, and memes are culturally impactful. I see what you're getting at. Um, but I would also say, in my mind, I would say, um, Making other bands actually want to sound like you is cultural impact, and most bands don't want to sound like Nickelback, but there are so many. There are so many Linkin Park knockoffs and bands that were le legitimately inspired by Linkin Park. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, hmm, hmm. That's actually legitimately tough. That's legitimately tough. I would, I would give it to Linkin Park, but I think you can make an argument for both. I think you can make an argument for both. Yeah, and how many AMVs? Exactly. Exactly, Sam Bright. How many AMVs do there exist of Nickelback? None, because their music sucks. Um, but there's countless AMVs set to Linkin Park. So, yeah. Yeah, I think by virtue of the AMV effect, Linkin Park wins handily. But you make a good point. You make a good point. If you think about all the memes and just wanton public hatred, um, yeah, Nickelback... Nickelback comes in strong for cultural impact. So yeah, that's that's fair. That's that's fair. <laughs> Look at this graph. <laughs> All right, so where did it dump? I guess it would be in level one stuff, right? Because that is there shouldn't be a level associated with that, and everything sorts by level, correct? So where is where'd you end up, class chess piece? Have I gone? Have I gone item blind? Oh, you have to select the armoire? How do you do that? Click open armoire. Oh, I've never done this before. I'm learning things today. Seasonal, seasonal, seasonal. Achievements, costumes, fashions, mascots. Is it under costume? No. Artifact armor. So, what does this fall under? Seasonal gear 5, for some reason. Oh, wow, the chest piece just by itself looks a little, uh... It just blocks out your shoulders so much. You need other armor to kind of... Yeah, I see why. That's interesting. All right, so this is it kind of as is. And then we're going to go back to the glamour dresser. And because it was suggested, and I, and I don't think uh, I don't think you're wrong. Where is? Did I not put? No, there it is. There's Shadowbringer. Yeah, that does. That totally freaking works. If you just if you wanted to keep it real simple. If you wanted to keep it real simple, but let's see, die. Oh my god, all my dies are in my. Let's go ahead and save this. 
They are in my Chocobo saddlebag. Avert your eyes! It's ugly in there. Check how ridiculous the shoes on their own are. Well, we were doing five. Wait, bit. <laughs> they're just, they're just little guys. They're just. Little <laughs> Who knew? Who knew Clive was wearing low tops? Didn't know Clive was a low top guy, but here we find ourselves. That makes sense for how you would piece this together. That makes sense. So if we die this, I'll just show equipped. Sure, sure, why not? Just a good night. Oh yeah, that's that doesn't suck. What other colors like look cool? I feel like uh because of the not everyone knows that this, but because of Tuna's uh, like kind of pink, violety eyes and ha air, uh, hair highlights, I do like uh, I do like mixing in some dark, uh, some darker purples and pinks from time to time. I think it's in red the one I like. That's a bit. It's actually a bit saturated. I think this is the one I've used in the past. I'd like a little, like a subtleness to it. I also, because of the, the hair, I've also been known to go. I think it's in green, the dark turquoise. I'm quite fond of. Morble is what it's called. That is not unattractive. Yeah, cause sometimes I like to, I like to keep it dark, but like give little hints of color. The iris is, the iris is handsome. That's also good too. It just might be a little. A little bright. Abysmal blue is great. I'm not sure I have any of that, but, you know, that's what... Abys abyssal. Abyssal blue. Oh, that is good. Not quite the uh, the tone I'm looking for, but that is a good blue. Yeah, I'm quite fond of... I like a little green in my blue. But yeah, I might... I might have to... Oh, not Iris. What was it? Grape. I, might, I think I might have some of this. Let's try this. It's the scar changes. I think I have some grape purple dye. Nope, that's fashion accessories. Chocobo saddlebag. Oh, yeah, there you go. Grape purple. Let's, let's go with our first instincts on some of this stuff. Dye, purple, grape purple, reflect. There we go. And then, do I actually... I kind of want to make it a little, a little custom. What goes? Well? I love, I love these spiky gauntlets. I love being a spiky boy. It might be a little too silver, but maybe if we pair it with a, a similarly silver and spiky set of, of pants, that's a little, that's a little uh, Hermes. I'm not a fan of that. Nah, 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 nah. That just kind of looks like Clive with the red. Yep. Just like people said, Glam is the real end game. See if I can make these darker. Can you dye these? I didn't know you could dye these. Do they get darker? They do get darker. No, oh, problem is I want to see it reflected on this. See, that starts to, uh, that starts to kind of pull together. It does kind of clash with this knee joint, though. I'm not in love with that. You know, maybe I go with my original instinct and just get away from the Clive pieces all together. Something kind of plated up would be interesting. General purpose black is the darkest. Okay, good to know. Yeah, clearly. That's what we want to go with. We go with the rave pants. Why did I keep those? I don't think I will ever wear those. I should probably get that out and make some space. I thought I had more like plate armor. Pa oh, that's interesting because you end up with a midriff. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had more um, armor clad pants.
Like, where's the chaos? Oh, yeah, that kind of ruins it. The red pants coming out. Yeah, it's it's actually, at least based on what I have, this is kind of tough to... It's kind of tough to customize, because you, you really need... It's those, the shoulders, they, they square you off so much, you do need bulkier pieces and other parts to balance out the silhouette. Otherwise, you just look... Look like you're wearing tights. By compare, you kind of get into like vanilla World of Warcraft problems. That's interesting. Yeah, it just looks so much better when you keep it when you keep it on Clive. That's interesting. So I tend to tend to customize stuff a bit, but in the meantime, no use in uh, fighting with what works. Yeah. Doop, there we go. Let's go ahead and apply it. Yeah, that is, uh, that is quite handsome. That is quite handsome. I'm not mad about that. Let me, uh, let me join you all. What are their garly and poofy pants? <laughs> their garly and poofy pants. Yeah, I like, I like that because from far away, it looks... It looks like I'm just all all murdered out, like it's all just black, but especially if I step in the light here. But then you get that pop of purple. Yeah, Valens, we're buddies. What's up? <laughs> we're purple pals. But I, I particularly like it because it makes the, uh, the highlights in the hair and the eyes stand out when I get a little purple going on in my armor with Tuna. I feel like the pants would be too matchy-matchy. I kind of like the... Uh, just having the pants be black. I'm into that. I'm into that. Oh, you know what though? I just had I just have one more thought. I'll be right back, everybody. I'll be right back. There's one more way I can just I can set this off. Usually purple dyes don't purple well. Yeah, I, I think the, the more highly saturated purples are really, really in your face. Um, so I tend to I tend to stay away from them. But uh But yeah. Oh, is it just chilling in my inventory? Do I not did I not stow that? Did I not stow that sword? I don't think I stowed the sword that I want. Am I just in here? Adding this thing by hand? No, where? Really? Where are you? Am I going? Am I going gear blind at the moment? Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Now we're purpling. That's how you purple. That's how you purple right there. Now. Now I'm ready to say hello. And whoop. There we go. God, I love this sword so much. It's... You know me, I tend to like my more subtle, my more subtle glams, but, um, yeah, this looks dope. This looks freaking dope. I'm into this. All right, fifth Clive screenshot of the day. It's good stuff. Mikote have the best idol for Dark Knight in the game. <laughs> Although I guess Lala's have it too. Didn't know that. Makes me miss Tina. Oh. That's just female? Oh, that's right. It's gender locked. I forgot about that. Yeah, 
I'm super, uh, I'm super jelly. That's such a great pose. All right. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming out for this. Oh, I like your persona cosplay. Nice. So now the question is, what do we do next? And I'm thinking, uh, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind some, uh, black mage levels. I wouldn't mind some black mage levels. I wouldn't be against it. I wouldn't be against it. Um, oh, y'all want to see the mount? Yeah, I haven't. Let me go somewhere I can mount up. I'm heading to the uh, FC house. Because I haven't looked at Torgal yet. Where you at, buddy? Where you at, Torgal? There you be. Let's see. Mm, I am, like, so out of... I'm so out of, like, free spaces. All right. There we go. <laughs> Riding a dog just seems wrong. Like, poor guy. They did a great job with the hair effects. Like, more high fidelity on the PS5? Sure, but really did a good job with what they can pull off in Final Fantasy XIV. Like they, they really sold individual hairs. Oh, y'all want the mount music? Okay, let's take a look. It's a lot quieter than what was going on in Shirogane. Why is it so much quieter? Move a bit. Oh, I didn't know that happened. I've had Mount Music turned off since Rome were born, so uh, I didn't know that happened. 360. That's pretty great. What does this button do? Oh, you can pet him. Oh, that's fantastic. Look how happy he is. I've seen Zelda make that face many times. Many, many times. That's, that's fantastic. That's absolutely wonderful. He, th he 360 neck through a bird lady and beat Omega with a light party. He's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know. Like you do. Like you do, Ray. Thanks for the super. Read the tooltip. Pet Torval because he's a good boy. Yes, he is. Has no effective battle. That's delightful. That's freaking delightful. <sighs> you know, while I have mount music turned on. Suzaku time. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. For today, where's my black mage? We're going to ride Torgal around because we just got him. Why not? Put him on the hotkey. And we'll rock the mount music. We'll enjoy it. We'll enjoy it. Uh, I don't I don't have an earring, Halif. I never got one. Or if I did, I got rid of it. But I don't think I ever got one. Cuz wasn't that like a pre-order thing? Uh I Oh, that's a good point. I should go do that right now. Um I I I have a um <clears throat> I ordered the collector's edition that doesn't come with a game code. So, because uh, of all the, the store issues that were going on, a friend picked it up for me, and that was the only one they were able to secure the day that pre-orders went live. So, I don't have a game code because I haven't 
I haven't done that yet. But I guess nothing's stopping me from just doing that right now. Right? Right? Like, I could just... I could just go and do that right now. Go ahead and pre-order. Okay. Let's do it while the music just, like, goes off in the background. Uh, pre-order Dawn Trail. Only Square Enix can stop you now. All right. Oh, my God. Enter birth date to proceed. When was I born, everybody? Dawn Trail's too mature for me. Uh, I feel like the email should be up in minutes. Okay. All right. I might as well do I need to do it. So, might as well. Um, do I need to order a specific what do I need to do to digital collectors because I have a physical collectors coming so should I, I should just do a standard right right it seems like okay according to this you get the earrings with the base version Digital has the in-game items. The physical doesn't come with the, the, the... Okay, what do you get? Oh, I don't need that. I don't think. What does it look like, though? Hold on. Let, let's, let's make this a communal experience. Hold on a second. Continue... All right, here we go. So we're here on the website. It is so bright. <laughs> in this in this moodily lit room, this website is the brightest thing on earth. Well, hello, Hod, Hod Tower. Thank you for joining us. So where does it show me? Immediately receive those. Where's, where does it show the, the digital collector's items? Does it not? It must. It does not. Digital collectors. It just tells you what I want to see it. What does it look like? Maybe I do want these things. I want images. I want images. There's a YouTube video. Okay. Is it the video that's pinned here? Or should I go to YouTube? This appears to just be the trailer. That's just the trailer. All right. Well, then. Ah, here we are. What? What in... What the fresh hell... I don't... I'll be honest. I don't know if I would ever use this. <laughs> that is not my... This is not my vibe. <laughs> this, is, this is not my vibe. <laughs> it's very visually impressive. But my vibe, that is not. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah, I do. I do love Max, but that's not really my my style. Inside fourteen. All right, all right. For now, for now, we're we're gonna stick with standard. I can, I can always be shamed uh, into double buying in the future. You know. All right. Please, please choose an awesome. Oh, oh my god, yeah, PC download. Love of God, Mac, Mac. Who plays on Mac? I know multiple. I have multiple friends who play on Mac. Plenty of people play Mac. Uh, let's see. Log in now. There's, wait, there's a thing here. Can't you also log in with a Final Fantasy XIV account? Yes, you can. All right, we're going to come back here so no one sees anything uh, approaching a password or a login. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Password manager, where are you at?
Could you describe your credit card information in the chat? Yeah, Noel. Um, and if you could clip, this would be a good, a really good clip. If you could, um, if you could also make sure that everyone subscribed to the clips channel could see this, I'd really appreciate it. All right. It needs my first name and my last name. Save. That's right, because I wasn't the one to successfully pre-order the collection edition that I will be receiving. That was the illustrious Poppy was an absolute friend and secured a physical collector's for me when pre-orders exploded the website on day one. Okay, just double checking because I gotta like do my address and shit. And I, I would rather that not be public. I'd rather shit like that not be public. Right, so here we go, doing the thing, doing the thing, hoping no one sees my phone number. All right, all right, y'all, we're almost there. The thrilling reason you all showed up today, me getting my payment info in private. A thrilling conclusion to Garrett's shopping experience is now. Does anyone actually memorize their card stuff? Because, nah, that ain't me. That ain't me. Shopping extreme, yeah. You gotta do, you gotta do, uh, you gotta do math. What's a prime number again, everybody? What's a prime number? Place order. Or maybe place. Here are the details of your order. I should probably not show that either. I'm going to go ahead and save a copy of that. Because that is a business expense. That's what that is. Receipts. I label all my receipts. All of them. All right. Let's uh, go sneak a peek in my inbox. Hey, we got it. It may take a few. Oh, so the code is a separate email. Okay. All right. Oh, here we go. Wait. Dawn Trail pre-order bonus items. Does this already come in? Oh, yeah, I got it. Sweet. So let's go to the Mog Station. Let's go to everyone's favorite website. The Mog Station. That was quick. All right. Enter item code. Nope, pre-order. Pre there's two different ones. Pre-order item, bonus code. Next. You are redeeming Dontre Early Access. Time for Azima's earrings. It has been completed. Registration to redeem successfully completed. Wondrous. Now we just wait for Mogmail to show up. Now we just wait. We gotta turn this music up, so we gotta run circles. That's what we gotta do. If Kyle was here, he'd be yelling, DEATH! Yeah, we did it. We did it. Uh, thanks, Rogue Mage, for the super. I appreciate the, uh, the breakdown there. <laughs> Extremes are hard, Matthew. They are. But they are. This is more intense than the Amwalker fan. <laughs> Tell your friends. Send them this and be like, it's even better than the Ren Walker finale, I promise you. You can always kind of force Mog Mail, but it doesn't always work right away. Petting the dog, yep, that's what I'm doing. 
Uh, in the meantime, um, let's remind ourselves how to play this fucking class that I got here, because I ain't touched it in a minute. Um, because when we last left off with the Black Mage, I had just unlocked some some shit, which I feel like it's always easier to just pull this up. So we got Freeze at 40. Blizzard 3 was a newer thing. Yeah, Blizzard 3, Fire 3, those were all like level 35 things. We didn't get anything. We're coming up on Shortcast, but we're not there yet. Oh, thanks, Alien. I appreciate the, appreciate the gift of memberships. Also, I don't usually do this, but I did notice a Ron Lightwalker, if you're in chat, uh, my inbox didn't inform me you just became a patron, so thank you for going to supportourbromance.com and signing up. Really appreciate it. Thanks for going out of your way to the get to the Patreon. Figured I saw it. Might as well give you a shout-out. Might as well give you a shout-out. Oh. oh, Fane, you got one? Hell yeah. That's rad. Alan's here uh, in the way of uh, striking down. <laughs> uh, so that, that grants is the issue. Oh, no, they also grant. Freeze doesn't. When do I use freeze? When do I use freeze? <laughs> so much background noise. Freeze is just AoE. Okay. Use all mana on hot and cold. That's a mana restore. Don't I have a dot? That's uh, that's thunder, right? Then I want to make sure I'm keeping thunder up. Yes. Isn't there some sort of swapping mechanic that I'm forgetting? Transpose, that's right. Where did I where the hell did you go, transpose? Why not? Yeah, no, there it is. Why is it all the way down there? Because that recast is on five. Why would I have put it there? I usually put things there that I don't want to hit very often. But I do want to be transposing. You don't need it very much anymore? Oh, that might have been why. Aren't I using Fire 3 and Blizzard 3 now? Isn't I think that was the new thing. Isn't that what I'm using? Like, don't I want to open with this because it gives me three stacks right out the gate? Yeah. And then just keep uh, keep doing my thing. And then I, once I'm out of mana, I let a Blizzard 3 rip. That's in, there's no mana sign to that. See, that's like so fast. It's like. Oh, that's right. And I also have that new passive that gives me procs on my thunder. That's right. When we left off, Black Mage had gotten a lot more interesting. Because early Black Mage is very straightforward. It's just as simple as that, huh? So, like, I barely throw any... So, is it normal that I'm throwing, like, one Blizzard, one... Or, one Blizzard 3, one Blizzard 2, and then I'm right back to spam and fire? 
Keep one thunder dot up as you're casting. Okay, so that's what I need to do better. That's normal? Okay. Interesting. I think last time someone was trying to explain to me that there's a reason you want to not completely, like, drain yourself of mana. But I don't... Is it, is it because you want to thunder while you're in... While you're throwing ice? But now it's like I'm already at max mana, so after I throw the thunder, I gotta get right back to fire. Sometimes you might lock yourself out of ice if you have no mana. Interesting. Yeah, see that? That got me there. Bam. Right away. Love how loud Black Mage is. Like, even at this level, the, uh, the fire effects are really satisfying. So then we do this, and it's almost perfectly, almost perfectly timed. There's a little bit of time with Thunder down. It, I'm assuming that's bad. Oh, crap. I, I have to. I'm assuming that's bad, and you don't want any time with Thunder down. I had to save some mana for Flare. Okay, what is Flare? Do we even have Flare yet? I don't think I have Flare yet. Level 50, Flare comes online. Okay. Flare comes at 50, okay. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna take a second here. Dot uptime good, okay. So... Oh, see, there was a little bit of a delay there, but I guess with the cast time on Blizzard 3, you just gotta rip it if you're close to max mana. Correct me if I'm wrong. Actively seeking backseating. See, that felt good. And then when I get the thunder proc, I should use it, right? Because it, doesn't it do extra damage when you get the proc? Save it for movement? Okay. All right, that's cute. I love hearing that. I love hearing save it for movement. Or moments like this where I get an adorable bit of synergy with uh, going into my ice cast. Okay, so here I could save it. Let it tick down. Just burn all my mana. Swap it to ice. Let fly. And then, yeah, by the time you start the... By the time you're finished with the Castle of Fire 3, you're already at max mana, so... Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a misclick. like that's more or less the basics and then I got a barrier don't really need to worry about transfer you know what yeah yeah no nah. I'm, I'm gonna actually move that again I see why I did that and it's in line with my shifting abilities and then mana front I guess I would manually pop a transpose like in a dungeon between pulls when my mana comes back naturally and I don't need to be or want to be in the the blizzard aspect anymore correct yeah when you got nothing to hit okay 
Rad. Rad. I am into that. Gets a bit more involved at higher levels. We need to make decisions, but for now, it's it's pretty free with the timers. Yeah, I've, that, that, that's kind of what I'm interested in. I've heard that it's it's a more, excuse me, complicated damage roll. And it that plus just like running extremes with black mages. Uh, to me, no one looks cooler in extremes than black mages. They just they just seem like they're, you know, Spider-Man 2 harnessing the power of a freaking sun in the palm of their hands. And uh, I'm about that life. I want to do that. I want to do that. I really want. I really want a black, uh, a max level black mage. It's. It's probably the number one thing I want to max level right now. So, um, I guess we could just roulette. I guess we could roulette. I should probably burn. I'm. Sh I'm certain I'm maxed on tombstones. Yep. And I'm just starting to get the new ones right. Cause. Uh, Causality and comedy. Might as well head to. I haven't unlocked new things that I can buy with old tombstones, right? Because all level nine gear is is the is the the new the new tombstones that I'm getting. So the best shit I can burn tombstones on are is Shadowbringers gear. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, don't forget WT. What is WT? I'm. New to, new to this job. What is the acronym? Oh, Wonders Tales. I, I'm not, I don't like Wonders Tales. I am not a Wonders Tales fan. I, f I find I find Wondrous Tales uh, uh, a little on the the fussy side in a way that reminds me of uh, chasing crap for my weekly vault in World of Warcraft, which is not something I particularly enjoy. I know it's free XP. I just ah, I just don't care for it. I just, I just don't care for it. It is, it is very, I find, I find it, um, detailed to the point where it removes the fun from it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just not the, I'm just not the biggest fan. Kyle loves Wondrous Tales. You want to sing Wondrous Tales' as praise? Wait for Ty Kyle to come back. Um, and I've never, I just never, I've never been unhappy with the speed with which I level. Um, I've, I've always felt like I've been able to get levels at a speed that I think is, is perfectly fine and kind of respects my time. My mail has not shown up, has it? Nope. No, it hasn't. Uh, what is this? Yep, I, I double bought. I didn't know I already... I forgot I already had these, so they're just in limbo because I can't take these. This is my hell. This is my hell, everybody. Hit the request button. I didn't know there was a request button. Reward, new. Uh, uh, where's the request button? Is that this? Nope. Here we go. Oh! Oh, shit. It worked! It's working. Right, let's make sure there's nothing. That's an upgrade. Okay, we're good there. Let's update that. Let's go ahead and equip these earrings. Wait, can I change gear? Why can't I change gear now? Why are you mad? Oh, I need to apologize. I need to apologize to Mr. Striking Dummy. I always forget about this. I'm so sorry, Mr. Striking Dummy. I apologize for my for my conduct and hope that you can find it in your dumb heart to believe to 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 forgive me. All right. All right. There it is. Update portrait. I should be uh, Oh no, you're right cuz I had a portrait. Erp. There we go. Portrait has been updated. Thank you. Thank you. Are you about to race the boon to evil? Wait, why? Why are we making that reference? Why are we making this reference? Why the boon to Eve classic? I love... I love Star Wars Racer 64, but... Why? Nope, we're, uh, you're more. Here we go.
<laughs> I guess I did. Yes, you're right. I, I, I make so many prequel references, I don't even realize I'm doing it. That's, that's where I'm at in my life. But you're right, I did. I did, in fact, make a, uh, make a prequel reference. That's exactly what I did. <sighs> Disciple of Magic. So we want to see Black Mage Thaumaturge gear. What does it look like, by the way? Let's go ahead and save our outfit. Oop, shit. Oh, do I already have this? It looks like I may have already done this. Interesting. So do I have this full set somewhere? Search for item. Uh, do I have two of them? That's level 80. What do you mean? That's level oh, this is level 80 here? Oh, it's the same set for summoner. Okay. Well, I'm buying 80 gear because I need to burn these and I can't buy 90 gear, right? Isn't that all I can do with your your standard Allegan? Oh, why not 50 gear? Oh, that's a good point. Well, because I'm just like, ah, I'm just going to burn levels and who cares? That's a good point. So I would want to go to Rising... I haven't bought level 50 gear forever. Rising Stones, right? Let's go to rise. Let's go to more donuts. Let's do it. We're doing it. We're going there. We're doing the thing. You were in one of those like fair ass looking stalls. Yeah. God, <laughs> that music. Uh, which splendors do I want? Want the uh, Allegan, right? Right? Right. Yes? Scholar Arcanist. I also might already... Uh, this might be laying around somewhere. Search for item. Yeah, so I've got... I've got these already, it looks like. Also, it looks like I might have duplicates. Again. That's healing. Oh, Scholar. Oops. Let me... Where? Am I? Where? Where is it? Monk Pugilist answering the rogue. Oh. Yeah, okay. So if it's Black Mage specific... But it's also Thalmaturge. Oh, result zero. Sorry. I see what's going on here. There we go. Okay. All right. What does this look like? Whew. Whew. That is not my style. Also, Kyle made me make this so big. I don't like how big this is. That's a little too small. 140. That looks nice. That looks nice. All right, but we'll go ahead and that's perfectly fine. Yep, we're going to exchange that. And we're going to put it somewhere where I can find it. Might as well just burn our tombstones. There we go. There it is. There you go. And we're just shy of getting the headpiece. All right, cool. Cool, 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 coolio. All right, all right. You know, just, just cause I appreciate everybody helping me out. We'll go take a look at Wonders Tales. We'll, we'll go take a look. Over here, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> I always have mount music off, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be laughing for the rest of the stream. Every time I mount up. Every freaking time. 
Hey, Chloe, what's up? Uh, let's receive a new journal. Yep, here we go. You obtain a copy of Tedium. Thank you. Uh, all right, Wonders Tales. Still got on my hot bar. You can see I gave it the, the old college try. Wait, what's all this? This is new. This wasn't here before. It's it's even busier. It has a post-it on top of everything now. Select one. I just want the experience. That's what I want. So wait, that's for nine. Wait, one line, two lines, three lines. What's a seal? The seal just like the stamps? Oh my good goodness. Okay. I understand lines because we, Kyle and I used, did this back in the day. But okay. So, completed duty in the following category dungeons, dungeons, dungeons. Okay, so we got a dungeon line. And then we got uh, Crystal Tower. <laughs> Coil of Bahamut is on here? Holy crap. Bowl of Embers Extreme. Oh my, oh my word. Oh my word, y'all. Can unsync it and recount stuff. Okay, gotcha. I mean, most of this stuff I can't even get into. At least not on my black mage. Seals are just Chloe currency. Ah. Thank you, rogue mage. Doesn't have to be on black mage. So then how do I game it so that I get the XP for my black mage? Oh, you just you make sure I'm black mage when I hand in. I should have guessed that. I should have guessed that. Okay. So. Oh yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't really do any of this yet. As a black mage. As the lowest level thing is 51 to 59. What was level was Orbone Monastery? Where even was Orbone Monastery? 70? Okay. Orbone Monastery was Shad? It was Stormblood? Oh, that's Alliance Ring. I don't remember that at all. Oh yeah, oh, yeah it's the final wing of uh of uh, Evil East. Thunder God Sid, that's right. The raids themselves are great. I know I've been a little uh, critical of Eva Lisa's story, but the raids themselves, the content is fantastic. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, I'd like to play a little Black Mage. So, might as well hit up a leveling and also maybe limit level that roulette. Um, all right. You, you jumped. You want to run? Jump up and down if you want to run a dungeon with me. <laughs> All right. Um, P Pad, I think you were among the first. And a Kane, I remember seeing your rad robe jump. So we'll we'll start with that, and we'll go from there. I've run near raid in a while. My Q1 later, that raid. That, I, Really haven't disliked any of the raids, but yeah, Nier was really impressive. All right, we're limited leveling, so get a little bit of a boost just from the level of the dungeon. And I am the lowest level. 
Uh, thank you for carrying my mediocre black mage ass. Let's go. Much appreciated. The rock and a shield. I forgot that that's a thing. Yeah, cutters cry. Damn, Akane. That, that's how you that's how you portrait. That's how you portrait right there. Oh, jeez. So I'm assuming multi-dotting is really not worth it given Oh wait, nope. Uh given the speed with which everything tends to die. Yeah, see, I should have already been. Casting my fire three. Oh yeah, eat some food. Oh my god, that's like low level. Uh, six, ten, five. What, what was? Five? Sure. Oh, that's right. I do have a thunder too. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. That late wouldn't be worth it. Pray return to the shifting sands. In doubt's egg. Probably should have fired three first. Would have been a better sequence there. They're down. Here we go. Oh, interrupted. Land, land, land before they die. Oh my god, this freaking. The cats are so slow. Stocking up on boiled eggs for Dawn Trail. <laughs> Everyone's breath, uh, every Warrior of Light's breath will be just, just absolutely delightful. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Everything dies so quick. My, my freaking... My casts are so long. What's the mana rift store? That's what I've got on five, right? Yeah. I guess we could just open with a blizzard, apply a thunder, and then swap immediately over to fire. Ah, Ooh. Bug just said shush. That bug shushed me. How dare. How dare that bug. To the quicksand. Let's take a look here. Just uh, pass a Reno. 
Oh, yeah, we're going to never change earrings again. That's what we're going to do. See other things coming in. I'm going to start casting that thunder. Nothing's going to land. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Feels good. Alien, you're getting another shout out from Fane for the gifted membership. Let's see. Which way you head? <laughs> We're still pulling. We're still doing it. All right. Now we spam and I forgot to do the AOE. Judge the streamer. Thank you, Fox Sound. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Just so we're back in the flow of things. Where are you going, buddy? There you are. Yes, the flow of things. Somber piano intensifies. Time anything lands, you're gonna be dead. Is this like what I'm currently wearing? It is what I'm currently wearing. I'm like, how is it exactly the same? What are my rings? Oh, nope. Strength. My inventory is a mess and I don't feel like dealing with it. Oh, I see what you're saying about just opening with fire, too.
So what happens if I wait to like the last second? Do I get a full 15 seconds? Yes, I do. I sure do. Now you don't get three pips, so it's of questionable use. Sprint. Sprint. Ah. Nope, no, I don't want to cast blizzard. I want to cast fire. Caster things. Ah, the Chimera. Boss I fought many times and I've never actually learned the mechanics of. Well, or the tells at the very least. I'm just going to do this. I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but I feel like I need mana, so I'm going to go for it. Way to be. Way to be, Garrett. Okay, got there, got there. Thank you, team. Oh. <laughs> What's your thought on crossovers, SUV? Uh, not not the sixteen fourteen crossover because that crossover is great. I think car crossovers are kind of kind of boring, <laughs> not, not particularly attractive to look at or fun to drive. But I understand their their need in the marketplace. You know, I get it. I understand it. I'm not passionate about it. Cool more. Thanks for the super. Once you try deep dungeons, you will never forget. What a chimera does, I can promise you that. I always forget what a chimera does. I always do. Always. What about the 15 car cross? <laughs> uh, I quite like it. I quite like it. Cars belong in MMOs. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want that perfect dodge and normal content. Yes, I do too. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite phenomenal. It's quite phenomenal. Yeah. Did I get two levels out of that? Wasn't I 41 when we went in? Now I'm 43.
Hell yeah. I mean, I know we rocked the uh, we rocked the bonus. They get. See, I'm surprised we got Cutter's Cry and not Stone Vigil. Let's form a new. Let's get three new people in here. Um, I want to run Stone Vigil now that I can. I'm just in the mood. I'm grooving to the BLM music. Get in here. Get in here. I think I saw you jump first. Hey, Fane. Get in here. There we go. Boom, 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 ba -da -da -ba -ba. Stone vigil. Oh, is it because I'm still in here? Yep. That's why. Let's just let's just go there. Or do I still get? I don't still get doing. At this point, it doesn't matter because I've gotten my one bonus for the day. So might as well just do the highest level dungeon I can do. Paladin named Dark. Now I'm confused. Oh, shnikes. The greed. The greed is real. Give me my manor back. Why is this lighting up? That's cool. I don't know why that's happening, but that's very cool. New passive. I love procs. I have to just stay. I just, I love them. Procs are always, they always feel satisfying. Oh, what am I doing? I'm in blue, whatever. Exactly. Hap happy light up buttons. They make my they give my my brain the good juices. And I gotta reapply thunder. Was gonna fall off, but we'll live. What's up, Chungus Udo? How goes it? I've uh, been neglecting my dot. So far, uh, I would characterize playing Black Mage knowing that it gets uh, more complicated as very relaxing. I imagine it doesn't stay that way. Oh, 
Ah, thanks for the explanation, Leith. Appreciate that. Will it land? Yes. The photo says, know what's fun? Long sea brain fog so bad you forget where you are and inducing a panic attack. At least I'm home early to watch. Oh, relax, the photo. I hope you have a good, I hope you have a, a relaxing afternoon. That does not sound like a good time. second time. I gotta stop casting shift. I f my brain is thinking about these as like a, a, a something that toggles as opposed to two individual abilities and I need to I need to cut that out. I need to cut that out. Yeah it's been a while since I've been here. I don't really remember this. Such devastation was not my intention. I guess I should be using mana front or font, mana font. Oh, Jesus. Also need to catch those procs more often. Garrett, that's not what you want to do. Well, freaking hell. I have a swift gas available. Could have used that. Too soon, Executus. Now I'm great. You know, in the last 5% of this boss's health. Hell yeah. Boop. Boop. Mm. Where are we going? Excited for the Fire 4 wake-up call? Why, what happens? Turreting too hard? That's what I am! Are we not turrets? Keep 
to the gates. Later on, you want to use mana font at the very end of your fire rotation, but that's level 70 plus stuff. Oh, that's cute. I could start trying to get into the, the headspace of it. To me, it's a cooldown. I might as well be using it. I'm just not thinking about it much. just last indefinitely or is it going to drop when this drops? No. Okay, well that's nice at least. The desire to immediately start pressing fire one again is at odds with the need to check to see if fire three procced off my last fire. Freebie. Oh. Yeah. Slide cast no the greed. See, what went through my brain there was I know this AoE is under my feet, but I also know if I don't attempt the slide cast, I'm gonna look over and see, does Garrett know about slide casting in the chat? That's what's gonna happen. That's how that's how streamer brain works. Playing Final Fantasy fourteen. That's how it works. That's what lives rent free in my brain. Yeah, Kyle Cook. Get that Kyle Cook going. <laughs> Honestly fair. <laughs> We slide. Let's go, K Cat. There it is. I don't think I knew you could run with those. Uh, we'll pass on that. We'll need those. And we'll pass on that. New pants! Better than the old pants. This is, yeah, see, there's people going, um, uh, wow, 45 already, already. This is why I don't wonder tales, because I like dungeons, and it, just doing the the highest level dungeon gives you a, a nice friggin' chunk. Now, granted, we are rocking these new earrings, which I'm sure are uh, helping quite a bit. 30% ain't no slouch. But, um, yeah, this is why I don't bother with Wondrous Tales, because I'm like, I'd just rather run dungeons. Because, like, I feel like I'm learning my, my job that I'm trying to level as opposed to doing things on another job to hand in my wondrous tales. Do I not have this? Did I save over my glam? I saved over my glam. Oh no. What have I done? And this is like level 62, so I'm not going to be able to wear this. Oh no, I have red pants. Oh no. That's okay. We'll just... Oh no, they're not diable. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why do I have Titus gloves? What has happened? What has happened to me? Woolen hat. Wait. My fancy glasses are now better than my hat. You know? I don't hate that look. I do not hate that look. You know, we're just gonna... This is just... This is just how we're gonna live our... Like, I can't believe... I forgot that I had this black mage glam. I really get rid of it. All right, hold so on, everybody. We're going to scrutinize. We're going to scrutinize for a second. Yeah, I appear to have a level of you. Yeah, see, that's level 60 stuff. 
Yes, I appear to have. Yeah. Yes. Um. I'm teleporting to Limsa. <laughs> I must correct this error. Oh, where's my return? There it is. Cease to be glam. Go back. <laughs> That's for near nights. That's for when we run near. That's what that's for. Actually, real quick, should, what's what's the really dark die? Let's forget. Do I have Chocobo Saddlebag? General Black Die is like the super black, right? I should go get some General Black Die. Because I appear to be out. And we should go full Black Mage. It's expensive. Well, how expensive? What's the name of it? General Black. No? Why is that not coming up? Jet? Is there... Turn on partial match. General purpose, jet black death. Holy shit. Holy crap. Why is this so expensive? <laughs> when you're like, it's expensive. I'm like, how expensive? And the answer is very, very. No, 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 please don't, just do not give me this. I will not accept, I will not accept this. This is ridiculous. Why in God's name? It only drops from retainers. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, no. No, because we just this is for leveling gear. This is for leveling gear. We ain't we ain't about that life. We don't we don't live we don't live that lavishly. No, no, we don't do that. We don't do that. Leveling gear. You use soot black. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> Dark blue is poor man's jet black. Yeah, we gotta we gotta fix this lamb. We gotta fix it. This is this is a travesty. I can't be seen like this. Alright. What uh we gave up on oh, that's our Clive. That's our Clive. Boop boop boo. Where did I clearly go wrong? Might have been one of these, to be honest. <sighs> I can't wait till I can just run around in this. This robe is so Frickin' good. Yeah, I'm I'm done with you. This is so let's see. Black mage, where you at? There you go. Oh, but I want I need to keep it under level forty. So my cutoff is right here. Oh my god, that, that robe. And this is kind of my, I want to be wearing a robe, a general, general fare. Nope, nope, same problem again. Uh, I just want something. It's a simple black glove. Oh, oh, crap. All right. All right, I don't know how I feel about the frilly. That works. We'll go. What do I want? I feel like if we dye the soot black, it'll look better. Yeah, there we go. Let's reflect that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. yeah, that's pretty, yep, that's what we're going with. That's, that's the best we can pull off, everybody. And then our cutoff is here for pants. We just want something black. I don't really care all that much. We'll, we'll just go with that. And then, oh, that's kind of cute. Give some depth, because it's darker. I do, I'm so fond, I've ran around on my summoner with these boots, so I'm so fond of these boots. And then, uh, I think, I think we'll rock that, because 
I'm kind of into the glasses. That I, that that's good for me right now. And let's go ahead and apply this glam plate. Link gear set. There we go. Let's show our glasses. Let's update our gear set. Let's unbreak our portrait. Save. <laughs> Somehow my portrait got better. And we'll run another dungeon. Or actually, let's see. We got a little bit of time. We got a little bit of time. Can we rock? No, I'm not high enough level for anything else. I was going to say an alliance right. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. So, um, let's, uh, mm, all right, let's, uh, I'll just chill here. Anyone else that wants to run, I will form a new, I will form a new party. So if you haven't run with me, start jumping up and down. Catalina, what's up? Raid. Good to see ya. And then Ronan, let's go. Let's do this thing. As long as we have a tank and a healer, because I will be black maging. Job quest gets me gear too. Oh, that's right. We got one of those now. Let's see. So we are at 45. So it doesn't look like we got anything new, at least not here. 30, 30, 30, 50. A lot of stuff comes online at 50, which makes sense. Sure, Cass is new. 44. Okay, cool. That's good. So what's this new trait I got? Fire starter. 40% chance after casting fire. Ah, that's awesome. That's rad. All right, cool. Did we unlock a new dungeon? Did we? Yes, we did. Oh, no, no, it's dark hold now. Oh, well, no guts, no glory. I'm sorry for what I'm signing you up for. I see we have a Clive. That, your Clive portrait is fantastic. Oh my God, Ronan, that's good. That is good. I love your cat hood, by the way, Catalana. Freaking great. Freaking great. Let's see, are we uh, are we pulling down the hall, or are we just doing this? We're just doing this. I'll just get started then. That dark hold isn't that bad. I, dark hold is is up there for one of my more loathed dungeon experiences. Oh, I guess I probably should have went to Blizzard because I am. Boom. Oh, so you can tab target the thing you can't even attack. That's what's happening. Yeah, Cutter's Cry isn't, like, great either. It's, it's like, mid. Darkhold has, like, these things. Like, these are just... They, they, break, they break my dungeon flow. They break my dungeon flow. That's how... That's, that's the main reason. Gather... Gather. Okay. You're not even going to get hit by the damn thunder because the stupid depraser trade sold.
I do like the doors. Dark Hole gets points for the cool circle doors. Oh, sh oh no. <laughs> now I feel like a black mage. Oh, Lord. What? Oh, out of mana. What the? I missed it. Do it again. Well, there you go, Tommy. I did it again. <laughs> Just for you. I'm, I'm aware of the mechanic. I'm just not doing it because I'm trying to be a black mage. Knowing a mechanic and remembering to do a mechanic are, um, are two different things. And I, I only had one part of that equation. I'm just going to run. It's the sprint of shame. I'm not walking. And now it's now it's a walk of shame. Now that's now that's what's going on. It begins counting down. Boss poops everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Evane. I'm glad I'm glad that I I speak fluent black mage. I'm very I'm very glad. If anyone mentions slide casting, I'll ban you. Things I instantly want to be better at. Uh, oh, crap. Sprint before I cast. Let's just do this. Just got to slow my roll on queuing up the next fire. That's the thing I'm properly shit about right now. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Transporter. Transporter. Hey, it's my glasses. Yeah, I've been I've been picking up on that <clears throat> seven hat that it does actually show beforehand. It's like I I almost want to add I, I want to pull a Kyle and add like a single giant button that just shows my fire three, so it's easier to see if it procs. I guess I should have fired first. Feels good when you get it right, though. Like, really satisfying. Got a good flow. Thunder again. I'm just gonna let it. Just gonna let it ride. I can't explain my actions. Oh, out of mana again. Out of mana again. The Black Mage experience. Nice one, White Mage. I saw that dispel. <laughs> You're getting complimented in chat, Katie Lana. Move to the left. That's what we're gonna do. You know, you never know. You might find an upgrade. Are we talking about the before times? Are we talking about how hard this used to be? This job, this dungeon? Oh, that's right. Yeah, Taturd is coming in. Ah! I'm used to being the tank! I want to start with this. Get our dot online. Turret mode activated. I hold no responsibility for what happens past this point. My feet are planted. Am I black maging correctly? I got hit because I wanted to land a slide cast. Am I doing this right? <laughs> You swing too hard, ass.
Nice. He looks to the stream to see if they're laughing at his black mage jokes. <laughs> He's beginning to believe. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm enjoying black mage. It's it's a good time. It's illegal to move as a black mage. Okay, cool, cool. Good to know. I love love not moving. It's one of my favorite activities. Nope, oh, I'm doing it again. It was me. Get him one more AoE. Nah, should have single targeted. Oh well. What you gonna do? Get a proc. Alright, who here plays a, a job with long cast times and when you see something at that low health, you tab target to something else that has higher health, assuming somebody else will finish off the low health target. And be honest. I want honesty in this chat. <laughs> Me! <laughs> we got some honest people in here. No lies detected. Woo! Stop short. Disrespect skate them to death. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy. I always die on this guy when I'm not tanking. So this will be interesting. We'll see if I uh, always die on this guy when I'm not moving. Oh, nope. Do the thing, do the thing, Garrett. Do the thing, check. Check for prox, Garrett. You gotta check for prox. Oh, it didn't, oh, it didn't land. What am I doing? Being a, being a nub. That's what I'm doing. Why is this not, what's happening? Oh, I'm being interrupted. That's why. God, that's that's that sucks ass. Checking for procs, checking for procs, proc. Checking for procs, checking for procs, proc. Checking for procs, checking for procs. Nah. Proc maybe. Is it a proc? Yeah. Where'd my duck go? I guess I have sure cast I should be using. You got there. Woo! 
I guess I'll move for that mechanic. Uh, I did it again. Rock, do we have one? Yeah, we do. What about on this one? Yeah, we do. Nice. Garrett knows the boss being involved in not a one. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's, uh, there's the rock mechanics in this fight. There are the rock mechanics in this fight. So there's this thing. There's this thing called tunnel vision. Um, and uh, I was lost in it. I don't have this. I'll need on that. But if you don't have it, roll need two, please. Huzzah! Level 46. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's see here. I got... I got this for y'all. Boop. There you go. There it is. And I don't remember what this one is. Boop. And <laughs> landing into the snap. Not my favorite. The heart one's way funnier. Way funnier. Alrighty. Well, thank you for the runs, everybody. That makes it sound like an indigestion issue. Um, yeah, this was fun. Uh, the Final Fantasy 16 event freaking slaps. Um, if you haven't done it, if you're just now tuning in, you're coming in late, you haven't done it yet, I highly recommend it. If you're worried about spoilers, I got a two... I got a two-tier explanation here for you. The first tier is the fact. Yes, there are spoilers. The second tier is me coming in and telling you there's spoilers that happen pretty damn early in Final Fantasy 16. And I honestly think it's a pretty good way to maybe sell some people on Final Fantasy 16. Your comfort with spoilers notwithstanding. So that's my recommendation. If you think you're cool... Yeah, demos. It's more or less demo spoilers. Um, not quite. Not quite as far. It doesn't quite go as far as the demo, but yeah. Um, insinuations from trailers, all those kinds of things. It's It doesn't surpass a particularly early part of the game. So um, if you're the type of person where knowing a little bit of early story gets you hyped about, you know, shows, books, games, that kind of stuff, you know if you're that person, I'd say go for it. I think I think you'll have a good time and it might spur you into playing Final Fantasy 16. Um, otherwise, if you are hardcore, I don't want any spoilers at all. Avoid it like the plague. Avoid it like the plague. Maybe skip the cutscenes and get yourself some cool glam and a torkel. <laughs> but um, I think I think it's pretty damn good. I I I, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, get mad at it for what it chose to divulge. So um, yeah, this is a lot of fun. Thank you everybody who helped me get some levels on my Black Mage. Um, I kind of want to like come back later tonight and just do more. <laughs> so you might see me sneaking some levels uh, if you're in the FC. Um, but yeah, I had a really great time today. Thank you all for coming by. Uh, I will be back Thursday night. I'll be back Thursday night. Um, I'll be streaming from our kitchen with my lovely wife, Katie. We're going to be making some cocktails out of the Final Fantasy 14 official cookbook. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing this Thursday in lieu of an extreme or MSQ because, well, Kyle is out. So, Kyle got to have a chill, relaxed Warhammer mini painting stream while I was out of town. And so I'm going to have a chill, relaxed cocktail making and drinking drinks stream while Kyle's gone. So, please come join us for that. We're uh, making up some uh, very specific ingredients, like, on our stove ahead of time to get ready for it. So, so we're going for it. We're going for it. So we'll see you uh, Thursday night. And uh, tomorrow I'm, I'm editing uh, hardcore so we can get a, a video out for you on Friday so see you then everybody thanks for coming by the stream GG